In February 2014, the Russian Federation occupied the Ukrainian peninsula of Crimea. Before the occupation, the peninsula was known for its beautiful nature, cultural heritage and economic potential in oil production, agriculture and green energy. Let's take a look at how the Crimea and life there have changed over the past 10 years of occupation. As for today, after 10 years of Russian rule, the number of military personnel on the peninsula has more than tripled, from 12,500 in 2014 to 40,000 in 2024. Such a grouping of troops corresponds, for example, to the size of the entire armed forces of the Netherlands, 41,000 soldiers, or of Hungary, 40,000. There are 232 military facilities on the peninsula, and these are just the ones known from open sources. The occupying forces in the Crimea also have at their disposal about 900 armored fighting vehicles, over 195 tanks, over 283 artillery and multiple launch rocket systems, 50 helicopters, and 100 aircraft of various types. The peninsula is also home to warships, missile systems, and aircraft capable of carrying nuclear weapons. The militarization is also destroying the environment. The occupiers use protected nature reserves for their military exercises. This is what took place in Opuk Nature Reserve, Karalar Nature Park, and Cape Chowder, which are part of the Emerald Network of Europe. To get an idea of the scale, the military training grounds created by the Russians in the Opuk and Chowder nature reserves cover an area of about 55,000 hectares. This is almost the size of Prague. Over the last 10 years, live firing and military training exercises have been regularly carried out on the water. Explosions of munitions in the seawater have led to its chemical pollution. As a result, the flora and fauna of the Black and Azov seas are dying. The Crimean bridge built by the Russians creates a dam effect in the Sea of Azov, preventing the natural flow of water. This causes it to overheat in summer and freeze in winter. The pictures show how ice is trapped in the narrow channel. This causes fish to suffocate. For the construction of another so-called project of the century, the Tavrida motorway, the Russian authorities are using sand from a toxic waste dump. Arsenic, phosphorus and chromium dangerous to humans and the environment, are being released into the atmosphere. In addition, for the sake of creating Tavrida, the occupiers cut down 110,000 trees and about 116,000 bushes, including the Crimean pine and juniper, which are listed in Ukraine's Red Book of Endangered Species. And this is Foros Park, founded in 1834, or to be accurate, this is what it used to look like. Now, this heritage spot of landscape architecture has been turned into a building site, with centuries-old Lebanese cedars, magnolias and junipers being felled. Due to the chaotic and illegal construction of luxury real estate, the beaches of the Crimea are turning into fenced private properties. In a short stretch from Yalta to Livadia, only four beaches are now open to the public, whereas there used to be several dozen. Since 2021 alone, at least 10 waves of mass arrests have been reported, with 14 to 60 people detained. Systematic political repression against opponents of the occupation has forced some 48,000 people to leave the Crimea. Most of them are ethnic Ukrainians and Crimean Tatars. Simultaneously, during the occupation, the Kremlin facilitated the transfer of more than 500,000 Russian citizens to the occupied Crimea. The indigenous peoples of the Crimea are once again being replaced by Russians, just as they were almost 100 years ago. Ten years of Russian occupation have changed the Crimea beyond recognition, and not for the better. One a military base instead of a prosperous region. 2. Deterioration of basic services. 3. Displacement and eradication of Ukrainian identity. 4. Systematic violations of rights and freedoms. 5. Systematic destruction of the nature and ecology. Degradation is a typical scenario for the territories occupied by Russia. Unfortunately, the Crimea has become yet another bitter example of this.